you know you're not supposed to eat hot cheetos but you still have jiddu buy it for you you need to be a big boy and say jiddu i'm not allowed to have these where's sissy Talking to the vlog. What you say? Talking to the vlog, babe. currently getting solar for the house so we already had a few solar panels um but we didn't have enough to the point where we weren't getting like a regular energy bill anymore um like using regular electric as well so we're currently adding like a ton of solar panels so we can just use solar energy and it's been going on for three days guys three days in a row they're here at 7 a.m drilling in the roof there's been no peace and now because they're like converting the energy or whatever, we have no power. Like there's no power in the house. TVs don't work, lights. Look, look at the switch. And for some reason, the fire alarm keeps on going off. I don't know why. Like every 15 minutes it will go off. But luckily after today, we'll officially be a solar household. recently discovered that I love Jan Marini skincare. So now I have a list of three skincare brands that I trust. And that is Curology, Clear Stem, and now Jan Marini. So good. But Jan Marini is obviously the most expensive of the bunch. Like this is like clinical grade skincare. So it is a little pricey, but their products are phenomenal. I don't know what it is you guys, but the past few days, I've been waking up starving. And I'm usually one of those people who like, I'm not hungry immediately. Takes me a second. But I don't know, I've been waking up like ravenous. I'm like, I need food. It's just her kick, go, daddy, it's a fire. There's a fire, daddy. <laughs> Just gonna put on a little bit of sunscreen. It's a tinted sunscreen. I'm 
So I'm about to eat some lunch. I actually just got a delivery from Factor the other day and I love when I get Factor in the mail, you guys. Like the second I see my Factor box, I know I can just chill out and not have to worry about what I'm eating, especially when I have my busy work weeks. It's like having a weight off my shoulders. I know my meals are ready to go. They're in the fridge. If you guys have never heard of Factor, they are fresh, never frozen meals delivered straight to your door. So I love that there's so much variety, you guys. There's over 35 new recipes every single week. And depending on your dietary needs, there's so many different plans. They have vegan and veggie, calorie smart, keto. And if you're somebody who's just tracking your macros, I I love that all the meals come with the nutrition facts, all of the calories, the fat, all of your nutrition facts are on the back. So if you're somebody who's like trying to track those things, it just makes it so easy. Again, everything is pre-portioned out. You don't have to cook in the middle of your day and make a mess in the kitchen. You can heat this up in the microwave in only two minutes. I like to also use my toaster oven. That takes about like five, six minutes. But regardless, you get a meal in less than 10 minutes and it is so delicious. I literally saved this one to show you guys and eat with you guys because I have not tried this one yet and it's literally one of my favorite meals. It's Indian butter chicken. Since this one's butter chicken, I'm gonna pop it in the microwave when it's usually like a chicken breast or something i like to use the toaster oven guys the numbers on my microwave are broken so i always have to like guess if i'm doing it right well sometimes i can kind of see the number here we go that's two minutes here's my butter chicken you guys it looks so good and then the rice is actually cauliflower rice by the way hellofresh owns factor 75 so if you guys love hellofresh you're gonna love factor two well, let's go ahead and do a taste test i'm gonna try the sauce and the cilantro rice first. Mmm, so good you guys. Let's get some chicken, getting a bite of that with chicken. I think this has to be one of my favorite factor meals I've had. I used to be the biggest hater of cauliflower rice but there's something about the way Factor does it that just makes it so good. You guys know I always gotta hook you up. You guys can head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code Kavari50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next box. That's code Kavari50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. So definitely check that out down below. KK has basketball today. Yeah. His little bag. Go ahead. Stand up. Lift your jacket. What's wrong with my kai kai and my much much? Daddy's. Daddy's? Let's eat snackies. Draw. You go to the back? Do you want to say hi to guys? Hi hey guys. Today I'm going to the hotel. I'm going to San Diego with my Ninja today. Yep, so KK is going, like you said, to San Diego with Emmy and Jiddu for the night. They're going to go to a concert. They're going to go explore San Diego. Miss Wichi. I'm going to miss you. Mwah. Me. What? Uh, tomorrow, me and you go to San Diego. So next week, we go to San Diego. Okay. And then tomorrow, uh, the baby uh, oh, and daddy. daddy going to San Diego. Kai Kai, what's wrong, Kai Kai? So you guys saw KK had basketball this morning, and then since Kayvon's headed to San Diego, we just stopped the whole foods real quick to get him. Um, Snacks, because knowing KK, he is going to have to do buy some bad things. Because we all know KK is gonna have Jiddu buy him. Don't make that little smirk. You know Jiddu can't say no to you. And you know you're not supposed to eat hot Cheetos, but you still have Jiddu buy it for you. You need to be a big boy and say Jiddu, I'm not allowed to have these. Hmm? 
that's why we come to Whole Foods because they have like hot Cheeto, like talkie type of snacks um, without the red 40. So. Yeah. And let me go draw now. Okay. Oh. Careful, baby. I see the daddy. You see daddy? I'll get you. Mm. Yeah. So guys, Yasmin actually flew back to Miami today and she was here for a good month. And Yasmin and I were working on something together. So I really feel like I kind of just really focused on the projects that I have going on right now. And I completely neglected myself in the process. And there's just such a huge difference in my energy levels and the way I feel a few weeks ago compared to now. Like back when I was like going on my daily walks, going to Pilates at least a few times a week, um, getting enough sleep every night. For me, if I'm not asleep by 11, I've really learned this about myself. If I'm not asleep by 11, I wake up the next morning, like my whole day is off because I just don't feel well, well rested. So yeah, now that we like finally wrapped that up, I can really go back to just like focusing on myself. Same with Yasmin. She's like, I'm off my routine. So yeah, I'm like really looking forward to just like getting enough sleep every night. Um, that's on me. I can't even blame any situation on that. Like I could be going to sleep earlier, but... I don't know guys I don't know what's been happening I don't know like I've been lacking self-discipline and Mel and I started watching I think that's what it is Mel and I started watching a show together Mel and I started watching love is blind together at night that was red flag number one like when I start having a show at night it just throws off my night I need to just like go to sleep daddy got the snacks you got more popcorn. You got more popcorn. No, Let me eat house. Because well, you ate it all. What, what's this little snacky snack you got over there? This is a little chicken tendu. Go for the babies. Yeah, Poppy. Chicken? Chicken? Okay, okay, get in your car seat. I have that one. Hmm? I have that one. Hmm. Want some? Yeah, okay, okay, you want this? Chicken? No. I knew he wouldn't want one. So. What's up, you guys? So last time I think I talked to y'all, we took KK to basketball. And then, like I said, KK is headed to San Diego today. He's actually already there. Um, he went with Jadu and Emmy, my parents. They went to San Diego for a concert. So they're going to spend the night there. While we were out, Mel actually got a super last minute job to shoot an event. So he had to just come home and get ready for that. And he headed down to the event. And it was just me and the twins. And one of... Kai Kai, one second, baby. One of um, Kayvon's schoolmates had a birthday party today. Um, but even though, you know, KK couldn't make it, I still wanted to go, but that's the thing. It was just like, what's wrong, baby? What's wrong? I still wanted to go to the birthday party, but obviously it's really hard to go like solo with twins. That's the thing, you guys, when people ask me like, what's the hardest part about having twins at this age, definitely the hardest part is that each child kind of needs a parent on them. This age specifically, the twins are a year and a half. So it's like you're outnumbered at this age. If they had like an age gap, that's the thing. If they had like a two year age gap, it wouldn't be as hard. But because they're both so young and they're both like running around, especially in like a party setting, it's very dangerous, you know? Like one could, especially like a party where there's like alcohol and stuff. Like if I'm not looking at one, they could like grab a cup and drink something. Like it's, it's, you can't do it solo. You really can't. So that's why I like wasn't going to go at first, but I texted a few moms to see who was going. And one of my really good friends, was at the party and she's like, I'll totally help you with the twins, just come. So I went over there and she was an amazing help. So we had a really good time. Um, guys, it's pouring rain. I don't know if you can tell, but it is raining super hard. So just walking the twins back to the car and getting them both in their car seats, I'm drenched. Like, look at my hair. As you can see, the blowout is ruined. And I was wearing sandals, so literally my feet were like icicles when I was in the car. But now we're back home. I'm gonna get the twins ready for bed. You know, at first I was kind of sad I wasn't going to Coachella, but if it's raining like this at Coachella, I feel like I dodged a bullet. I'm really happy I didn't go because this looks miserable. Like in the middle of the desert. No, thank you. But yeah, let's get these twins inside. Hopefully I don't get drenched. The rain kind of is just like trickling right now, which is good. You guys, tell me why Mooch is eating a Kit Kat bar in the back. Like this. Like she had to eat 
the plastic wrapper too. Mom of the year, huh? Mom of the year. Give Kai Kai. Usually guys, I'll take them both out the car seats together and they'll walk in together, but since it's raining, I have to bring them in one at a time. playing with look mochi come put them come put them over here look i love these little curly heads i love them no no what what's wrong kai i want to see sleepy 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 Where you going, Mooch? Where you going, Mooch? Where's Sissy? Where's Sissy? Where's Sissy? Sissy! Sissy! Kai Kai! See the dog, Sissy! Mooch, you say Kai Kai! Here, Kai Kai, look what's bottom. Why don't we put it right here so you can put it on the table? What you got over this one real quick. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi guys. What's in your mouth, Mooch? <laughs> Don't put it in your mouth, Moochie. Uh-uh. No. No Mooch. Okay, yeah. Take it out of your mouth and put it on there. That's good. Oh no, no. Look, look what you started. Hi. Okay, I'll try you all of these. Look. Mm. look at all these. Look. Mm. Give me a mooch. Give me a ma. Ma. Where's your alb? Where's your alb? What are albits of you? Alb cool mooch. Alb. Albit cool. Alb. Alb? See, Kai got his alb. Ob means water in Farsi. I love this little chunk. These babies definitely need to eat some dinner before they go to sleep. What should we eat? Hmm? What should we eat? What should we eat for um? Good stuff. What should we eat for um? Touch. What? Touch. Ah, 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 ah. Don't touch. Come here, Kai. Give me a pussy. No. No. No, no, no. Touch. No. 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 I want ma. Ah, uh, ma, 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 ma. Thank you, Moot. Cheese. 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 Getting everything ready for the baby's bath. So it can be easy afterwards. So I have the water running for their bath, got their diapers laid out, their moisturizer, their lotion, pajamas, so it'll just be easy to go once we're out. And I'm gonna turn on the TV and have it ready to go so they can be distracted while I'm getting them ready for bed. Look at these freshly washed babies. Did somebody order two yummy smelling 20s? Hello? Now we drink milky and sleep. I love you, Kai Kai. Mmm, smells so yummy. You can tell he's really tired. Look at him. Oh, how did I get such a cute baby? Yo, how do I have such cute babies? Okay, I'll leave you alone. Ah. Ah. Can you tell the difference? Mooch is like, uh, get out my face. Okay, I'll leave you alone, Mooch. I'll go get you. Milky. Y'all, so one thing about these 20s is that Mooch refuses to drink regular milk. She does not like cow's milk, she doesn't like almond milk, she only likes formula. So for the longest time I was still giving her like her formula, but I just switched over to this Hale A2 toddler milk, so it's not her regular formula anymore, it's like toddler. It's made for a year and older. 
So, yeah, we have to always make sure we give Kai the real milk. And then Muchi gets her powdered milk. Wait, this one isn't open. Do I have another one? up you guys it's the next day as you can see we did fix the hair situation i was kind of feeling my little curls i don't know guys i go back and forth with my curls the thing is if i am going to wear my hair natural it's going to be in the summer so that's right around the corner but guys i am not vibing with this rain this rain has literally been just putting me in such a funk i haven't been able to go on my little hot girl walks and it just makes me just feel so ugh, like I just want to like lay around all day. And if you can lay around all day, then the rain is great. But if you have like stuff to do and all that, it's just not fun. Like I have content to film. I Today I'm going to Danny's birthday. She's having like a barbecue and it's like pouring outside. But she just messaged it's going to be indoors, like just in her apartment complex. So yeah, this rain needs to go, guys. And we have, like, such a warm day. The other day, we have, like, an 85-degree sunny day. And for my mental health, like, I need a pool day. Like, I need to lay in the sun every single day or else we have problems. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I've been in a serious funk. And I want to blame the weather. I think I was just getting, like, so many endorphins from just being so active and just being outside in the sun. I would literally walk, like, an hour a day in the sun and it just made me feel so good and i just i think i underestimated how much it was affecting my mental health like in a good way so to just not do it for a while just being busy with work and i feel like the camera's too up like just being busy with work and then the weather isn't working out i just definitely need to get my life back together i thought that was going to be this vlog but I'm gonna be honest you guys like I just haven't gotten around to it and I think that's important to know and to be transparent about that that your journey isn't always linear actually I feel like nine times out of ten it isn't um life happens guys whether it's you get busy with work or busy with your personal life or you know something happens in your personal life and you kind of have to pour your energy into other things so even when you get to a good point and you're like you feel like you're in your groove it's very easy to slip out of it. And again, I'm someone who's super type A, like I like everything to be my way and you know, on routine. And the second I fall off of routine, I can kind of just be like, F it, I'm already not working out. Let me eat this cookie, let me do this. Let me like stay up late and scroll on my phone. I'm already off my routine, like who cares? But I feel like that's one of the most powerful things you can do as a human being is to pick yourself up. Again, life will happen to you. Unfortunately, that's how life works. But to have that strength and to have that growth, to be able to recognize that and recognize that you're falling back into your old habits, you almost have to be like a parent to yourself and discipline yourself and be like, okay, you're grounded. No more phone before bed. Um, and like create a strict routine for yourself. The way I see it, is if you were to have a doctor's appointment nine times out of ten you wouldn't cancel that doctor's appointment it'd be on your schedule and you would move things around for your doctor's appointment and that's what self-care needs to be in your routine as well so whether that's going on your walk going to your workout whatever the case may be um you have to treat it as something that's in your schedule. That's my thing I've noticed. If it's not in my calendar, I don't take it seriously. So when I have my Pilates in my calendar, I, again, I schedule my day around my Pilates. I schedule it around my workout. So yeah, starting this week, today's Sunday. So I feel like tomorrow is a new week. I am going to get my life back together and I will definitely vlog the process. But again, just know if you're falling off, you're not alone, it happens to the best of us. You just gotta recognize those bad patterns and nip them in the butt. Is it nip it in the butt? Nip it in the bud? 
I don't know. Before I close out this video, I quickly wanted to make an announcement about the masterclass because the day you guys are watching this video, which is Sunday, it is exactly two weeks away. So if you guys don't even follow me on my other social platforms, you probably don't even know. I did post it on the community page here on YouTube. And just in case you guys missed it, we are hosting a makeup masterclass on Sunday, April 28th. I'm hosting it with Makeup by Rubina, and I am so, so excited, you guys. The number one thing with this masterclass, I'm just so excited to meet you guys. That is my number one goal, a place for us, like any other like makeup lovers or beauty enthusiasts, just a place for us to all get together and network and learn. And it's just going to be such a fun event. So if you guys don't know Makeup by Rubina, she is a seasoned pro makeup artist. She she does makeup for Pretty Little Thing, Fashion Nova, um, celebrities. She has a ton of celebrity clients, red carpets. She's done my makeup for a few campaigns. So she's also just one of my really good friends. So we teamed up to host this masterclass for you guys. We have two options. You guys have in-person option, in-person tickets. And then we also have a Zoom option just in case no matter where you guys are in the world or if you just can't attend, we also have a Zoom option as well. But I did get a few questions about the masterclass. So I just wanted to talk about them on here. So again, it's two weeks away. Sunday, April 28th. I'll put a link for you guys to purchase tickets down below. I've got a ton of DMs regarding the masterclass. So again, my number one goal is just to meet you guys and to create a safe space for all of us to just network and meet each other and to genuinely have fun. So again, I got questions like, do I have to be good at makeup to attend? Absolutely not, you guys. Like you could, if you've never even touched makeup a day in your life, I think this would still be a really fun thing to do. So we have it at a beautiful location in West Hollywood. You guys will get the exact location when you guys purchase tickets we have amazing sponsors for this masterclass i'll put a picture on the screen of all of our sponsors but they all gifted amazing items for the goodie bag so if you purchase an in-person ticket you will be gifted a goodie bag at the end of class and these goodie bags are valued at over 500 all the products are at my management's office so that's something i'm going to do this week i'm going to go over to my management's office and show you guys all the goodies that are going to be coming in your goodie bag so again just the price of that goodie bag alone is worth worth double the price of the ticket not only that you guys we're also going to be doing raffles i have about three raffle prizes right now but i'm adding to it my goal is to have like five or six prizes but we have amazing amazing raffle prizes for you guys and then also we will have a meet and greet and we have a photo booth so you guys can take home like little pictures doors will open at 11 and then we're going to start the class around 12 and you guys are going to learn all of rubina's tips and tricks and all of her industry secrets so i remember i attended makeup by mario's master class back in like 20 2016 and I still think about that class so just the idea that this could be something that you guys will forever reference and can really be something that you learn from or you guys learn like a new technique or like your new favorite product that alone is just so valuable to me and that is like my number one goal with this master class so I'm gonna be Rubina's model so she's gonna do her signature look on me and teach you guys how to do that and then right after that we're gonna go into a Q&A where you guys can ask me or Rubina anything you guys can also ask us questions through zoom as well so again if you purchase the zoom option you guys will still be able to ask us questions and you know be a part of the class but I did get questions asking if zoom um, will also be receiving a goodie bag and unfortunately not we don't have enough to also gift everybody for zoom but we will be gifting the goodie bags to the in-person attendees so yeah with the Q&A you guys can ask us anything if you guys want tips and tricks for the industry how to get started um you know how Rubina got started as a makeup artist just like any questions you guys have we will get into those and it will just be really fun to just connect and network with you guys I also hope that you guys like make a friend out of this master class that would mean the world to me if you guys like met someone or just someone to like have your back in the industry again my number one goal with this master class is to connect with you guys and for you guys to network and meet other people and just to be in a space where you know we're learning we're having fun and you guys get to go home with a ton of products as well so that's just the cherry on top so again link to the master class will be down below for you guys really hope you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below love you so much and we'll see you again for our next video bye guys